People who prefer INTJ have preferences for introversion, intuition, thinking, and judging. INTJs in our team are often described as being independent, individualistic, and visionary team members. INTJs gravitate very naturally towards certain roles on a team, including ones where they can develop strategies and vision. This ability to develop strategies and vision is very important for people who prefer INTJ. INTJs also like roles where they can design new innovative concepts and systems and where they can implement ideas to achieve team goals. The J part of their personality also wants to not only have vision but actually to implement that vision. And they also like roles where they can persuade others of their ideas and vision through logic and clear thinking. INTJs are drawn to certain kinds of teams, especially ones where their teammates are competent and intellectually challenging, and where those teammates have a long-term vision and a long-term view of the team goals. That competence and intellectual uh, challenging attribute tends to be very important for people who have a preference for N and T, because they like to take concepts and analyze them logically. INTJs also like teams where innovative thinking is encouraged and valued, and where autonomy and independence is valued. And INTJs also like teams where they can work on and meet complex challenges. The more complex, the better. Every personality has a dominant function, which is a lead part of its personality. And for INTJs, the dominant function is intuition, and it's used primarily internally. So INTJs spend a good bit of time inside looking at complex interrelationships and complex patterns and connections that they see. Every type has its own challenges, and for INTJs, one of those challenges can be over-focusing on, on that inner world of ideas and connections. Because that's their dominant function, it's natural they spend a great deal of time there. Sometimes they can spend too much time there. Another challenge INTJs will report is becoming impatient with others that don't see their vision or don't understand their complex ideas as quickly as they do. And INTJs will also often report that they can overlook interpersonal relationships. So some development suggestions for INTJs are, first of all, to let other people in along the way as you're going inside and looking at complex interactions is to share those with people. A second development suggestion is to try to simplify your explanations of your complex ideas and also to understand that not everyone understands or processes complexity the same way that you do. And a third development suggestion is to try to acknowledge the contributions of fellow teammates to help build relationships and to give time to those relationships that you care about. So in a nutshell, INTJs on the team are the team members that really are going to be developing strategies and implementing intellectual frameworks to achieve team goals.